Winters in Newfoundland may seem terrifying, but if you are properly kitted, it won't be so bad. There are two scenarios to consider when preparing for winters here: indoors and outdoors. Most time, you will probably be indoors, where heaters are widely used, so it gets warm enough that a light jacket or even t-shirts will be sufficient indoors. When preparing for winter clothes, be sure you can easily take them off after you walk into a building. You don't want to be sweating when you are in a room about 20 degrees Celsius. You may want only a few heavy jackets or thermal leggings, but a variety of light clothing like t-shirts or jeans, which you will change more often. When walking outdoors, the first thing to put on are some thermal underwear, as this can keep you warm. They are to be worn underneath your other clothes. And serve as last line of defense from the cold. Winter coats are the next items to put on when heading outdoors. It's to be warm above all other clothing, including any light jackets or sweaters. Though we don't have extreme cold weather like minus 30 Celsius in other parts of Canada, the temperatures in Winter St. John's usually drop below zero and occasionally reach minus 10 Celsius. So it's very important to have a winter coat. There are many places for clothes shopping in Saint John's. A good place to go is Avlon Mall, where you can find quite a few popular brands like H and M, Gap, and Urban Planet. When selecting a winter coat, I recommend one with a hood to protect your head. It's really useful during windy days. A coat with deep pockets is also a good choice because you can place your hands in if they get too cold. A winter jacket is an alternative to a winter coat. Unlike coats, they do not extend below your hip level. It also offers some protection, but only to the upper body. I have a winter jacket like this. But I rarely wear it in winter because it couldn't resist the wind chill. Talking about the wind, you should keep in mind that Saint John's is famous for its wind. Wind gusts up to 80 kilometers per hour are not uncommon throughout the year. It's especially painful walking on a windy day in winter. So, windproof should be your priority when selecting a coat. Winter boots are another item to consider. They rise above your ankles and protect your legs from snow. Waterproof and good grip are your primary concerns because you have to walk with them in melted snow and slippery ice. In addition to boots, a thick pair of wool or thermal socks are recommended too. Other winter kits to get are a pair of mittens or gloves to keep your hands warm, a beanie to cover your head, or a scarf to protect your neck and face. Earmuffs are also helpful to cover your ears. The prices here are not really different from other countries. However, if you are thinking of saving money, you can also buy second hands from local thrift stores like Valley Village. You can also shop fashions online, though it usually takes more than a week for delivery. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. If you want to know more about Newfoundland, just leave a comment and let us know. Thank you.